My name is Alan Ordner. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Saroy's Tool Company. We are in Berlin, Connecticut. We are a, a manufacturer of uh, tooling, fixtures, gauges, and precision complex parts. We work in a number of industries. We started working with the bearing manufacturing industry, uh, but over the last couple of decades, we've grown to do work for the medical industry, aerospace, firearms, specialty machine builders, quite a, quite a diversified group of, uh, of customers. We currently have 48 employees working in our 25,000 square foot, fairly modern facility with a lot of modern equipment. We are a company that goes after work that's tighter tolerance than most people, and that's where our niche is. One of the big things I look for when we're upgrading equipment is to add capabilities or capacities that we don't already have. So naturally, one of our progressions when we went from straight turning was to add a Y-axis to be able to do some milling while we're turning. And then that progressed into adding a subspindle so we could do some part pickoffs and work on the backside of parts. And we followed the same progression in our milling. We were originally doing three-axis and four-axis milling, and then it became, can we do five-axis milling? And we investigated the machines and found a use for them, and they've been very successful for us, allowing us to change the way we do old parts and rethink the whole process and actually machine them differently and allow us to quote work we normally wouldn't look at. The improvements are a balance of being able to run complete parts coming off the machine versus parts that are finished in stages. And in the five axis world, it's allowing us to work on multiple directions of the parts at once. Stuff that normally would be a simple secondary op, we're now able to complete in one operation on the machine, which ultimately saves us setup time, queue time, and overall part flow is quicker through the facility. One of our DMs, we actually configured job specific with a twin indexer. We have a, a part we run on a continuous basis and we determined it was more cost effective for us to set up a dual indexer to give us more cycle time. The UMC has helped us provide the opportunity to actually quote parts we weren't able to do before. Parts that had cam profiles or awkward angles that would require independent setups for each angled pole we're now able to do in one operation. One of the biggest savings for us is the dynamic work offset, where we're able to reset up jobs and not have to reprogram the jobs by using the dynamic work setup where we could just select a new origin and the programs will compensate by themselves. One of the things the Haas helps us with on tight precision parts is the ability to probe the part while we're machining it. You know, oftentimes we could go to run a sec on a second surface and we're able to probe an edge and find the exact edge to make a fussy located hole that's intolerance. The fastest growing part of our business is our low volume precision machining. Having the Y-axis lathes and the UMC 750 has helped us grow our business. The machines are more productive. We have really good operators to set them up and run them too. 